This story is about a brother and sister who are twins and often take each other's place. Kinenzi was trying to live a normal life, but his sister, always landing in trouble, would swap places with him. Their secret is hidden from the world, but one lady is desperate to tarnish her reputation for her benefits and hires a detective who is secretly following them both. At the beginning of the story, we see a music concert which is being performed by a girl named Kim Ye. In reality, Kim Ye is a famous singer, and her popularity is evident from the grand scale of the concert. After a successful concert, Kim Ye returns to her room where we discover that the person we thought was Kim Ye was actually her twin brother, Kim Zi, filling in for her in her absence. Shortly after, Kinzi receives a call from Kim Ye. Initially annoyed, he ignores the call but eventually picks up. His first question is when she will return. Kim Ye tells him it will still take some time, so he should continue to work in her place until then. Despite being angry with his sister's attitude, he couldn't bring himself to get her in trouble. So he ends up going to give an interview where his manager repeatedly praises his concert performance. Suddenly, we see a sponsor of the music concert rushing towards Kim Ye and starts coaxing her to come to a private room, claiming to be her biggest fan. Kin Zi, not liking the situation, grabs the sponsor by the hand and throws him to the ground. This action, unfortunately, turns into bad news when the sponsor, now furious, goes to the media and starts badmouthing Kim Yi, significantly damaging her public image. When the real Qin Yi hears about this, she isn't surprised that her brother could do something like this. Meanwhile, Kin Zi feels terrible seeing his sister's reputation suffer, so he quickly calls her to apologize for everything. However, instead of calming down, his sister lashes out at him and once again manipulates him into taking over her duties as a form of punishment. This time, Kim Yi was supposed to go for an interview, so she sends her brother in her place. Meanwhile, the manager clearly explains to the brother that if he makes another mistake, everything could be ruined, so he urges him to fix everything. However, during the interview, the same issue arises again because while Kim Yi was backstage, her co-star attempted to hurt her. As a form of retaliation, Kim Yi orchestrated this mess. Because of her actions, her sister's image starts to deteriorate again, and when the real Kinyi finds out, she becomes very angry with her brother. Elsewhere, Kinzi is living in a dorm with some roommates. One of the roommates, a boy, dresses and behaves like a girl, while another roommate is a huge fan of Kinyi's singing, unaware that Kinzi and Kinyi are siblings. The next day, Kinzi, impersonating his sister, goes to her office where he encounters a famous star named Lai, who is essentially her biggest rival. When Kin Zi denies recognizing Lai, her anger skyrockets. Afterward, Kin Zi goes directly to his manager, who is angry because all the concerts and activities have been cancelled due to his recent antics. To prevent the situation from worsening and to repair the image, the manager has one last solution. He tells him about a client from France who needs a model for their jewelry advertisement. Now he wants Kin Yi to be part of this ad, hoping she will audition and be selected. Upon discovering that the advertisement required Kinzi is shocked and quickly retreats to the bathroom where he calls his sister to refuse the job. However, his coming sister manages to emotionally manipulate him into agreeing to do it, despite his reluctance. When the day arrives for all the models to present themselves before the French client, we also see Lai, who is visibly angry about Kim Yi's presence. She approaches Kim Yi, actually Kin Zi in disguise, urging her to back out. Unaware of who he really is, Kim Zi retorts harshly, leaving Lai embarrassed. The audition then begins, and the French client starts evaluating each model. After a while, no suitable candidate emerges. We then see Lai, who has prepared herself to look like a model, attempting to seduce the client. However, the client is displeased by her approach and starts dismissing all the present models as inadequate. At this point, Kinsey realizes that to appease the French client and potentially salvage his sister's tarnished image, he must do something extraordinary. Thinking quickly, he approaches the client and rudely confronts him making him realize that it is wrong to dismiss all the models without properly considering their work. Somewhere, this confrontation attracts the French client who sees in Kimmy the boldness he had been eager to witness for some time. Impressed by this boldness, the client decides to give her a chance and presents an offer. If she can perform well and please him, he will agree to make her his model. This offer was crucial for Kinsey as it was an opportunity to restore his sister's image. However, Lai and the other models did not take this well, and their displeasure was evident from their expressions. Now Kin Zi prepares for his performance, but he was not an artist like Kim Yi, making the task potentially difficult. With everyone at the venue focused on Kim Yi's performance, there was curiosity about how she would prove herself. Then Kin Zi, without exerting too much effort, gives a simple performance, which leads everyone to feel pity for him. They couldn't understand how Kim Yi could deliver such a poor performance. After the client's request, Kin Zi was tested again, and this time he began to recall all the moments he had spent helping his sister prepare. Through this reflection, he gained a better understanding of what he needed to do. 
His performance then restarted and this time he performed so impressively that everyone became a fan. His performance touched the client's heart and he was chosen for the advertisement. Seeing Kinsey pass, all the other models and Lai were upset, left with nothing but shock. However, the client then attempted to kiss Kinsey's hand, which she did not appreciate and angrily pushed him away. Despite this, the client had become such a fan that he forgave her mistakes and decided to start working on the advertisement the next day. The next day, the real Tinyu was back and was impersonating her brother which attracted the paparazzi eager to take her photos. Somehow, she managed to evade them. The shooting began but the client was not seeing the same qualities in Kim Yi that he had admired during the audition, leaving him to constantly ask for retakes. At one point, Kim Yi realized that the client preferred the performance her brother had given while in her guise, so she called her brother and asked him to come and shoot the ad. On the other hand, Kim Yi was at his dorm, taking a moment of relief and peace. He also decided to refuse helping his sister further. Consequently, Kim Yi's performance did not improve, and the next day, she went to her brother's dorm and persisted until he agreed to shoot for her. Her persistence paid off as Kim Yi went to the shoot where, once again, his performance pleased the client and the advertisement was successfully completed. Meanwhile, Kim Yi entered her brother's dorm in his place and met his two roommates. Observing their condition, she realized what kind of challenging environment her brother had been living in. Later. Kim Yi went to her brother's drama club where she met a girl who had been waiting for him for a long time. The girl was upset with Kim Yi for being late, but Kim Yi, using her charm, quickly won her over, impressing her. After that, Kim Yi joined others in cleaning up the place. She quickly became tired because she was not accustomed to hard work, which made her fatigue easily from the physical activity. Following that, the time comes for a concert to be held on stage. While everyone was prepared, the artists supposed to play the concert started a quarrel with Kim Yi due to being overly drunk. Consequently, when it was time for the concert, the artist backed out and Kim Yi, albeit reluctantly, stepped forward to perform herself. Once on stage, Kim Yi made a spectacular entrance and delivered a powerful performance. Her magic worked on everyone, and the concert turned out to be a success. After the concert ended, Kim Yi went backstage where she encountered a girl who was surprised that Kim Yi's voice sounded quite similar to Kim Yi's. The girl realized something was amiss. Kim Yi became anxious about this girl who could easily recognize her voice, something many professionals had failed to do. This girl had accomplished something truly unexpected. Subsequently, Kim Yi left without saying anything, determined to keep as much distance as possible from this girl. Meanwhile, the day arrived when the real Kinsey returned to his school only to find that every girl there was now infatuated with him and chasing after him. He managed to escape from them but was surprised when he came across a girl singing alone. He couldn't help but laugh when she attempted to sing with her strained voice. Following that, we learn that the girl is none other than the one who met Kim Yi backstage last time. She approaches Kinsey again, trying to talk to him but he was in no state to answer her questions. Eventually, the girl realizes that he is not someone else but Kin Zi, and she invites him to join her in music making. However, Kin Zi, confused, declines and leaves. Later, Kin Zi quickly returns to his dorm where he is surprised to find his roommates watching a video of his event where he was singing in front of everyone. Seeing this, Kin Zi begins to understand why all this was happening to him. Then the singer whose place Kim Yi had taken on stage arrives, angry at Kin Zi because now every girl, including his girlfriend, was chasing after Kin Zi. They were considering attacking him when suddenly an animal control worker shows up. Seeing him, the singer quickly apologizes and runs away. In the end, Kin Zi sees that now even his roommates are pressuring him to sing, but he refuses to listen and runs away. However, once outside, he is attacked by some more girls, and while fleeing from them, he ends up in a new location. Then we see Kin Yi teaching three new girls how to sing at her company, but her strictness surprises them. Her managers don't appreciate her harsh approach and advise her to treat the new members more gently to avoid tarnishing her image. However, she refuses because she believes she won't be able to teach them anything without being strict. Meanwhile, Kinsey meets the girl from his play who has become a fan of his since the last incident. She approaches him to work together in singing, but Kinsey also turns her down. Then the mysterious girl arrives and the play's girl leaves. This girl tells Kinsey that his voice is unique, so he needs to work on it, and she invites him to practice with her. She also shares how she has been searching for the singer of a song she loved since childhood, but has never been able to find them. Hearing this, Kinzi suddenly becomes sad and tells her that, in his eyes, that singer is gone forever. Why was Kinzi talking like this? The answer will be revealed later in the story. Nonetheless, the girl continues to push him to sing, which he dislikes, and he snaps back, asking why she doesn't sing herself if she loves it so much. 
After he left, we see Kim Yi reflecting on her brother and feeling a bit sad, so she decides to call him. She starts recalling their childhood memories, including swinging together, and how her brother always encouraged her to focus on singing. Suddenly, she spots a singing concert and immediately calls her brother, inviting him to participate. However, he refuses again. The reason behind his refusal dates back to their childhood. Kim Yi used to enjoy singing and receive support from their parents. Kim Yi wasn't even allowed close to him during practice to ensure she wouldn't disturb him, yet he always cared deeply for her and visited her whenever he could. As Kinsey's career progressed, he encountered a severe problem with his throat and doctors informed him that he wouldn't be able to use his voice for several years. Following this, Kinsey became depressed and secluded himself in his room. Disliking this, Kinsey forcibly took him outside, promising to fulfill his desires in his place. With her brother's help, she began learning to sing, eventually becoming quite popular, thus fulfilling her promise to him. Now in the present day, we see Kinsey attempting to sing again, recalling his past singing journey. His voice has improved significantly compared to before, but he has developed a fear of performing in front of an audience. Meanwhile, Jemmy is leaving the area when she hears Kinsey singing and goes to the room where he is performing. Seeing him sing like this, she compliments his voice and advises him to focus on his singing career. Gradually, Kinsey starts to feel that he should indeed resume working on his singing, so he agrees to practice singing with Jaime. A few days later, as Jimmy is heading home after finishing her work, she unexpectedly runs into Kinsey, who was listening to music. As they talk, it becomes apparent that they were getting closer, but Kim Z manages to control himself and heads straight home where he had come to spend a few days off with his sister. Later, after cooking and cleaning, Kim Z tries to join his sister, but she initially refuses to open her door. When he enters the room somewhat angrily, he is surprised by her appearance, realizing she is ill. He offers her some food, but she initially acts difficult due to her illness. However, when Kim Z mentions he has made her favorite dish, she quickly climbs onto her brother and gets ready to eat with him. Then suddenly, Kinzi's phone starts ringing, and as she attempts to answer it, Kinzi stops her. He was determined not to let her do any work today. At that moment, there's a knock on the door, and Kinzi goes to check it. But Kinzi stops him before he can open the door, having gathered some information on her phone. Kinzi reveals that some interviewers have come to their house to conduct a live broadcast interview. Concerned about her condition and unable to participate in the interview, she asks her brother to take her place once more. Seeing his sister's fragile state, Kinsey agrees to help and quickly lets the interviewers in. However, we learn that the interviewers were sent by none other than the model Lai, who wanted to cause trouble for Kin Yi. The interviewers were acting on Lee's instructions and they plan to focus their cameras on Kin Zi, but everyone is surprised when they see his clear face. Lai had hoped that by focusing the camera on Kim Yi without makeup, it would demotivate her. But this plan backfires spectacularly. Upon the interviewer's request, Kinsey was asked to demonstrate a yoga session, which surprised him because he knew nothing about yoga. Consequently, he sent Kinyi out of the room to perform the yoga herself. What followed was unexpected by Model Lai. Kinsey executed the yoga session so well that it stunned everyone, including Lai, who, in frustration, plotted her next move. Later, the interviewer mentioned that they would be interviewing Kinyi with her best friend. Soon after, Model Lai entered, which shocked Kim Yi as she had never considered Lai a close friend. The interview began, and the interviewer announced that there would be a food challenge between the two supposed friends. Kim Yi was taken aback by this because she had no idea how to cook well, having never really cooked before. Thinking quickly, she called her brother to take over once more and hid behind the camera. After some time spent cooking, the interviewer tasted the dishes. When he took his first bite of Kim Yi's dish prepared by her brother, he was pleasantly surprised and even began to praise it. After Model Lee's food was tested, an unexpected event occurred that led to an ambulance being called to take away the interviewer, thus concluding the chaotic interview session. Off-camera, Kidney took a breath of relief and inadvertently saw a message on her brother's phone about a girl named Jaime, sparking her curiosity to meet her. Wanting to keep this a secret, she sent her brother to work in her place for the entire day. While Kinsey was at his sister's recording studio, he encountered three interns who were practicing. Expecting Kim Yi's usual harsh criticism, they were nervous. However, Kim Zi, filling in for his sister, listened attentively to their singing and instead of scolding, offered each of them constructive advice on how to focus on their music. This kind and helpful demeanor made the interns become his biggest fans, completely dissipating any anger they had towards Kim Yi. Meanwhile, Kim Yi, impersonating her brother at his school to meet Jaime, got into an argument with a basketball player. The player believed he was far superior to her and challenged her to a game. After Kim Yi accepted the challenge from the basketball player, she surprisingly defeated him with ease. 
The player, humbled and impressed, became a fan of hers. Later, Kim Yi met Jaime and she was surprised that her brother had mentioned this girl to her. Their conversation started well as Jimmy invited her to the studio to begin recording. However, Kim Yi began to flirt, which angered Jaime, causing her to storm off. Realizing she had acted too hastily and made a mistake, Kim Yi attempted to vent her frustration by kicking the air, but she accidentally hurt herself leaving her incapacitated for a while. Meanwhile, Model Lai was furious because during the interview, Kim Yi had made a mockery of her, leading everyone to laugh at her. Angry and embarrassed, Lai went to Fang, the company owner, attempting to seduce him and collaborate to ruin Kim Yi's career. Her plan was somewhat successful as she managed to sway Fang to her side. Afterward, Kim Yi's manager receives an offer for a game show and decides to cast Kim Yi in it. When he calls her to join the game, Kim Yi tries to refuse by using her injured foot as an excuse, but her manager warns her that she must participate under any circumstances. Kim Yi learns that the game show is actually going to take place in South Africa and quickly schemes to send her brother in her place. Unaware of what was about to happen, Kim Yi suddenly finds himself en route to South Africa, while his sister takes his place in the studio to practice with Jaime. While Kim Yi is trying to sing in her brother's voice, Jengi becomes suspicious again because the voice she hears reminds her of Kim Yi. Meanwhile, Kim Yi's situation worsens as he discovers that his partner for the team is the French client, adding to his troubles. During their attempt to descend a mountain as part of the game, the French client starts making advances on Kim Yi, trying to win her over. As usual, Kinsey ignores the French client's advances and focuses on his task, but then we see Model Lai becoming increasingly agitated. She's angry because all the journalists were now more interested in Kim Yi, which she resented. At some point, Lai talks to someone on her phone and instructs them to take action. She has prepared a plan to ruin Kim Yi, but what exactly her scheme entails will be revealed later. Meanwhile, back at the studio, the real Kim Yi is singing, but JB comes over and starts to suspect something upon hearing her voice. She becomes convinced that there is some connection between Kim Yi and Kim Z. Jimmy theorizes that when Kim Yi tries to sing, she's actually using Kim Z's voice, suggesting that Kim Z in her eyes is the real talent behind Kim Yi's supposed singing. This realization upsets Jimmy, and she feels bad for Kim Z. We then see the real Kim Z still in Africa, where he learns that the weather is about to turn bad, making it necessary for them to evacuate. However, as they attempt to leave, escaping the dangerous weather proves impossible, and they end up trapped at the base of a mountain. News of their predicament spreads, reaching Kim Yi, who becomes distressed, worrying about whether her brother is safe. Meanwhile, we see a detective who works for Model Lai conducting an investigation. He comes to Kim Zi's school to gather information, but finds out that Kim Zi is preoccupied with concern for his sister. Realizing this, the detective decides to leave without further action. Next, we return to the real Kim Zi, who is trapped at the base of a mountain. Although everyone has managed to get out of the van, Kinsey discovers that a girl is still trapped inside. Without regard for his own safety, he approaches the van, wraps a cloth around his hand, breaks the window, and successfully rescues the girl. During this chaotic moment, the French client notices Kinsey and is surprised to see that he has been wearing a fake presumably to imitate his sister Kim Yi, suggesting that Kim Yi has smaller which is why he wore it. Upon realizing this, Kim Yi feels a sense of relief knowing she has somehow managed to protect her brother's secret. However, the group is still concerned about how they ended up stranded but learns from their boss how he managed to locate them, and that a rescue team could retrieve them if they reach a certain location. With this information, they decide to move toward the specified location. During this time, the French client expresses to Kim Zi that he wants to stay close to Qin Yi and be with her. Afterward, we see Kim Yi concerned about her brother, and unbeknownst to her, Model Lee's detective is following her. Noticing this, Kim Yi tries to evade the detective by heading to Jimmy for help. In an attempt to hide from the detective, Kim Yi hugs Jimmy and the detective captures this moment on camera. Jimmy is surprised by the embrace and the presence of the detective, but Kim Yi, unable to explain the situation, simply tries to dismiss it. Meanwhile, we return to the real Kim Zi, who is moving towards a specified location with the French client. Along the way, the client falls ill, so Kim Zi reluctantly carries him on his shoulders. Eventually, they manage to escape the area, and Kim Yi rushes to the airport to meet her brother. She arrives in a car, secretly gets her brother into the vehicle, and manages to take him away without being noticed. Finally, when they are safely away, Kim Yi, showing her concern, hubs her brother, which the detective also witnesses. Acting quickly, the detective takes a photo of her car, and by the next day, news spreads that Kim Yi was seen in a car with someone, sparking further media speculation. Taking advantage of the negative publicity, a meeting is held in her office the next day where Model Lai tries to humiliate Kim Yi. 
Fortunately, without concrete proof, Kin Yi is unaffected, and the negative publicity is halted. The following day, Kin Zi returns to his dorm where he learns from the basketball player and his friends that his sister has caused more trouble. While dealing with this news, Jimmy arrives just as Kin Zi's friends are teasingly treating him like a girl. As Kin Zi is discussing his next recording with Jaime, photos appear on his phone showing him kissing Jaime. Seeing this, Jaime becomes angry and storms off. Kin Zi tries to explain, but to no avail. Soon it's time for their final recording session together. After recording, Jimmy publishes the song in an online contest. The next day, a jubilant Jimmy runs to Kin Z to tell him that he topped the online singing contest, surprising him. Happy with this news, Kin Z shares his joy with his sister, who playfully demands that he cook something special for her as a reward. The next day, we see a sinner named Dai, who is envious of Kin Z's performance and tries to roast him in his next song. It becomes known that Dai has managed to knock Kin Z down from the top of the charts, which Kin Z and his friends quickly learn about. Kin Z listens to Dai's song and realizes that the voice Dai was using for singing was not his own. Instead, he was using someone else's voice to make himself famous. Meanwhile, Kin Yi is working on her new song when model Lei comes to the studio and demands that Kin Yi leave so she can work. Kin Yi refuses to leave. As they are arguing, their boss arrives and brings good news to Kin Yi announcing that she has been offered a role in a movie. Model Lee overhears this conversation and resolves to take away Kin Yi's newfound success soon. On the other hand, Kin Z, who has been troubled by Singer Day's actions, is visited by Jamie, who comes bearing a solution to his problem. He explained that if he used a diss track against Dai, then he could respond to it. So he does exactly that, and the next day, Kin Z's diss track becomes famous, eventually reaching Singer Dai and Model Lai. By then, Model Lai had discovered that Kin Zi was none other than Kim Yi's brother, prompting her to ruin his life as well. Later, through her detective, she learns that Kin Zi has stage fright, so she convinces singer Dai to help him prepare another song, which ends with Dai encouraging Kin Zi to sing on stage in front of everyone. Soon, the news reaches Kin Zi, who is quite surprised. Time passes, and Kin Yi presents her new albums to everyone. Everyone was happy with her performance until they received messages revealing that Kim Yi's new album was copied from a foreign song. The audience initially happy quickly turns against her, insulting her. In reality, Model Lai was behind it all, as she was the one tasked with checking Kim Yi's songs thoroughly. Meanwhile, Kim Zi worries about how he will respond to singer Dai, unaware of the troubles facing his sister. After some time during a meeting where Model Lai and Fang collaborated to ruin Kim Yi's reputation, they managed to cancel all her contracts and movies. However, when the current CEO did not support this decision, they removed him from his post and appointed Fang as the new CEO. As a result, all of Kim Yi's contracts and movies fell into the hands of Model Lai, and soon after, shooting for the movie began. Instead of removing Kim Yi from the movie, they gave her a small role alongside Model Lai. The worst part was that during the movie scenes, whenever Kim Yi was shooting, Model Lai took advantage of the situation and slapped Kim Yi. Kin Yi faced a lot of difficulties due to this but could not do anything about it even with the director supporting Model Lai. This situation repeated several times until Kim Yi decided she would astonish everyone with her performance. She sat in a corner, started performing her scenes, and her powerful performance brought tears to even the director's eyes. After that, they redid the scene where Model Lai was supposed to slap Kim Yi, but this time Kim Yi used her power to stop Lee's hand, impressing everyone. However, when Kim Yi was later assigned some unpleasant tasks for her next scene, she stood up against it, but Feng, now the new CEO, tried to mistreat her in response. Angry, Kim Yi threw him aside. Subsequently, because of Feng, Kim Yi faced a hefty fine for breaking her contract, but she left without worrying about it. Once outside, she received a call from her former CEO and shared everything with him. In their conversation, Kin Yi learned that after leaving the company, her former CEO was preparing his own movie and offered her a role in it. Unable to refuse, Kin Yi quickly agreed. Meanwhile, a singing contest had started where Simmer Dai was still waiting to face Kin Z. In an interview, Dai even gave Kin Z 24 hours to appear, increasing Kin Z's tension when he heard about it. On the other hand, Kin Yi started shooting for her new movie, where she had to perform an action role, facing some difficulties. Meanwhile, Kin Zi was in a bad state as the time for his face-off in the singing competition was approaching. Just before his time was up, he made a grand entrance that surprised everyone, and then sang a song that made everyone a fan of his voice. He could do all this confidently because he wore a mask that helped him hide his face easily. Afterwards, it was Singer Day's turn to perform, but he mistakenly held his microphone upside down and ended up lip-sensing. 
This mistake was noticed by everyone and he became the subject of ridicule. Amid these events, Kinsey gained popularity and became well known. When Kinsey was at home with his sister, he learned about her problems for the TV. After finding out everything, he apologized to his sister and assured her that he would always be there to support her. The next day, Kim Yi resumed shooting and discovered that while she was filming with her former boss, they were facing a budget shortfall. Meanwhile, Kinsey received a legal notice demanding a hefty fine for breaking his contract, but despite this, he was not discouraged and returned to the set to continue shooting. However, Model Lai used her cunning to try and disrupt the set with all her might. Her actions almost led to the movie being halted mid-production, but then a client from France stepped in, agreeing to invest in the movie on the condition that he would be the main lead alongside Kim Yi. The terms were accepted, and the movie restarted with the French client cast in the main lead. Meanwhile, during one day of shooting, Kim Yi learned from one of her students that they had overheard a conversation between Model Lai and Feng, where they had plotted to frame her. Upon learning this, Kim Yi became very angry, but decided to use her intelligence instead of reacting impulsively. She gathered some crucial information about Model Lai through her sources, including one piece of information that would prove to be very useful. With this, she concealed her identity and met with Feng, revealing to him how Model Lai had been stealing his money behind his back. Angered by this revelation, Feng decided to strip Model Lai of everything. When Kim Yi revealed her true identity to Feng, he was grateful for the information she provided and removed all restrictions from her contracts and even considered reinstating her to her former position. Meanwhile, the day of the singing competition had arrived, where Kim Yi was about to perform on stage once again. However, this time he was stopped and told that if he wanted to perform in front of everyone, he would need to remove his mask. Initially hesitant, he eventually agreed and revealing his real face, he was still filled with tension. She came over to him, supporting him by placing her hand over his eyes, and with his eyes closed, he began to sing in front of everyone. In the meantime, Model Lei found out how Feng had met with Kim Yi, which added to her stress. Soon after, we see Kim Yi, who had now teamed up with Feng, and they were both ready to take down Model Lei together. Next, we see Kim Zi, who had become quite famous due to his game, and photographers were chasing after him. Somehow, he managed to evade them all and later went to his sister, where he found out she had been waiting to reward him for making it to the finals. They also discovered that Model Lai had decided to hire an assistant for herself. So Kim Yi transformed her brother into a new persona so he could be sent to Model Lai, allowing him to gather critical information from her. Afterward, Kim Yi went off to her shooting, where she learned from the news that the story of her meeting with Feng had spread everywhere. In the meantime, Model Lai approached Feng to talk about it, but he wouldn't listen to her because she had betrayed him behind his back. Then came the day of the interviews for Model Lee's assistant, where everyone left quite upset because she was rejecting everyone. During this, Kin Zi and his new guys went to her and tried every possible way to become her assistant. He even claimed to be her biggest fan, expressing pride in that fact. At that moment, we see two models reminding Model Lai that she has lost everything. They told her that she wouldn't be able to do anything against Kin Yi now. As Feng had joined forces with Kim Yi, and any work that had been given to Feng would now revert to Kin Yi. Seeing all this, Kin Zi took his chance to get closer to Model Lai and approached her, which made her leave the place. Model Lee, impressed by the behavior of the new guy, agrees to hire Kin Zi as her assistant. After a while, Kin Zi was at the venue for his competition where rehearsals for his performance were ongoing. During this time, they all learned that they needed to dance as part of their performance. Then Kin Zi started practicing with his choreographer and impressed everyone with his excellent dancing. Later, they all found out that they needed to dress up as women for the performance and everyone began preparing. Among them, Kinsey was the only guy who looked remarkably beautiful in women's attire and soon everyone became his fan. Meanwhile, Model I was angry with her detective because he had not yet provided any substantial information that could be used to undermine Kim Yi. Motivated by this, the detective went to the place where Kim Yi and the others were dressed as women. There, the detective noticed that Kinsey looked exactly like his sister and thought that this news would be very valuable to Model Lai. He quickly went to her with this news, informing her that the siblings were actually orchestrating a big act. For instance, when Kim Yi was supposed to perform singing, it wasn't her but her brother who did the singing. This news was explosive and Model Lai was very pleased with this information. It meant that she now had a plan in preparation. Following this, we see Kim Zi practicing his new song when she arrives and becomes very angry upon seeing him with another girl, and she leaves the place. After that, Kinsey follows Jay to try to appease her, and he is surprised when he reaches her and proposes with his new song. Somehow, he manages to please Ji, and she accepts his proposal. When they return home, his sister already knows what happened between him and Ji, so she tries to tease and annoy him. 
To calm her down, Kinsey promises that he will go to model Lai in his place and try to gather all the information from her. Meanwhile, Kin Yi receives a call from her real estate agent revealing that her house is about to be sold soon, which worries her a bit. Soon after, we see Kinsey, who arrives at Model Lee's studio and cleans up the place, winning her heart. During his time, Model Lei, together with her detective, was planning something else because she had some compromising photos of Kin Yi and the French client. She thinks of paying her detective to make these photos go viral. After leaving there, Kinsey tries to access her laptop to find out what she is planning. After some investigation, he was about to obtain all the necessary information, but just then, Model Lai catches him and forcefully throws him out. Now we see Ji still in a dilemma, wondering if there were any secrets between Kim Yi and Kinsey that she wanted to know. However, when she asks Kinsey about it, he denies everything. Then the day arrives for Kinsey to prepare for the finals of his singing competition, but Model Lai shows up at the venue and goes directly to the judges to stop him from performing. She tells the judges how Kinsey was never the one singing. Instead, it was his sister who performed in his place. This revelation leads to Kinsey being labeled a fraud and disqualified from the competition. But the troubles for the siblings don't stop there. Soon, news breaks that Kin Yi was allegedly trying to advance her career by forming a relationship with a French client. This rumor further damages Kin Yi's image, worsening the siblings' fate. Amid this, photographers swarm Kin Yi, bombarding her with questions about her relationship with the French client. Kin Zi doesn't respond to them, and instead, she organizes a press conference during which she reveals on several live TV shows that her photos have been edited to fabricate the scandal. She proves her point by showing the real footage, leading everyone to start believing that perhaps she was telling the truth. Meanwhile, the French client also agrees with her and stands by her support. But despite everything that has happened, he hadn't forgotten his love for her and therefore proposes to her in front of everyone. However, Kim Yi rejects his proposal, and at that moment, Model Lai arrives and interferes in the proposal. She reveals to everyone how Kim Yi had been replacing herself with her brother at various events. For example, during the tour in Africa, it wasn't her but her brother who had attended, exposing what she had been doing all this time. The French client's heart breaks when he realizes that the woman he thought he loved, Kim Yi, was actually her brother. Following this, we see Kim Zi going to Jia to try to apologize now that he too was aware of everything. He tries to meet Jai, but she does not come to see him. Some time later, we see Kin Zi, who is very upset by all the news and feels worse because his actions have led to his sister, facing so much criticism. Despite this, Kin Yi gets angry at her brother but later explains to him that they should not dwell on this matter because what they did was out of sibling love and should not be considered wrong. After a while, the only news on TV was about how Kin Yi had used her brother as a body double, even involving the boss in Africa to confirm the truth of these allegations. It becomes proven that Kim Yi had indeed used her brother as a double, further tarnishing her image. Meanwhile, some guys were hurting Kin Zi because they felt deceived by the siblings. In a moment of anger, Kin Zi slapped them, and a detective captured this on camera, making it the next day's biggest news on TV. Elsewhere, Kin Zi's friends reached out to the singing competition judges to talk about bringing Kin Zi back to the show. They knew that the winner of the Choice Award gets a chance to return to the stage, and since Kinsey had recently won this award, he was given another opportunity and was invited back to the competition. Model I was against this decision, but when it went beyond her control, she took drastic measures, deciding to stop Kinsey from performing before he could even appear on stage. Following this, we see Kinyi busy at her film shoot, and during a scene, she gets injured. The director decides to use a body double in her place, and just then, Kinsey arrives and volunteers to shoot in place of his sister. Kim Yi tries to discourage her brother from taking her place, but he insists that as her brother, it's his duty to step in and help her out of trouble. After the shooting ends, Kim Zi learns about his concert, but chooses to help his sister rather than go to the concert. However, when his sister finds out, she advises him to take advantage of the opportunity. The day of the concert arrives and Kim Zi is ready to go. But to his surprise, he finds several photographers outside his room trying to stop him from going to the concert under the guise of an interview. Kim Yi disguises herself as her brother to trick the photographers and manages to slip away, but Mama Lee's detective notices and starts following her, thinking it's Kin Zi. In the midst of this chase, Kin Zi faces an accident but manages to reach the concert venue despite being hurt. There are some bouncers standing outside try to prevent him from entering. At that moment, Kin Zi's friends manage to divert the bouncers, allowing him to arrive just in time to perform. Seeing him on stage, Mama Lai was upset but she was relieved to see that the audience was still not happy with his appearance. They even angrily told him to leave. However, Kinsey took a deep breath and explained to the audience that everything he had done up to this point was for the benefit of his sister. 
He also clarified that he was the one who had been performing all along. With this confession, the audience warmed up to him and were willing to give him another chance. After seeing his powerful performance, those who had been angry with him became his fans again. At this moment, a recording started playing on the big screen, clearly showing how Model Lai had collaborated with Feng to frame Kim Yi. After the video leaked, the truth became apparent to everyone, turning them against Model Lai. We also learned that when Kim Zi's friends were cleaning Model Lee's studio, they secretly brought Kim Zi inside and managed to obtain this video recording. Following these revelations, questions began to arise about Model Lai and Feng everywhere. Eventually, Model Lai was removed from all her duties and Feng faced the same fate. Meanwhile, Feng couldn't do much, but when he saw Model Lai, he became very angry because she had ruined his entire career in an instant. Subsequently, the company realized they were facing losses and thought about bringing Kim Yi back, but she declined their offer. Next, we see Kim Yi arriving from her shoot, but just then, the French client shows up. He reveals that he is returning to Italy, but also admits that despite everything, he still has feelings for her. He even mentions that he is preparing a jewelry line called Twin inspired by her and her brother. Kim Yi ignores him and starts to leave, but her boss arrives and stops the client, explaining that Kim Yi is very busy and shouldn't be bothered. Afterwards, Kim Yi joins her brother at his success party, where Ju was also present. By then, everything had been resolved during the concert, and they were ready to start anew. While everything was going well for them, Model Lai was not pleased at all and quickly began plotting her revenge, marking the end of this series.